Hey guys, KP Jax here. Uh, today we are going to take a look at a tablet that I just picked up. It's not for me. I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 inch 2014 editions uh, with Android running on it. Um, the tablet I've got today is actually the Insignia Windows 8 uh, Wi Fi tablet. And I know people, you know, Windows 8, oh, Microsoft doesn't belong on a tablet. They're, they're getting there. They're, they're coming along. Um, but the reason I got this, uh, not for me, uh, someone close to me has been wanting a tablet. Um, gave them my tablet, a little bit of a learning curve going from strictly Windows for, you know, forever to, um, you know, Linux, Unix, Android platform. Didn't really figure it out. So I figured since they've already been using Windows for a while, um, there are several different products out there of Microsoft tablets made by HP or Insignia or whatever that won't break the bank. What do I mean by that? This tablet that I got was on sale. 100 bucks. It was on sale two weeks ago for like $70 and I missed it. So I figured before, you know, it went back up again, I'd get it. It'll probably be on sale for $50 after Christmas. Whatever. That's right. I said Christmas on the internet. Oh no. Um, so what I got was the Insignia 8-inch Windows 8 Wi-Fi tablet. And this tablet's pretty cool. It's pretty slick, pretty quick, responds, boots up in about 10 seconds. And I know my Android uh, tablet takes longer than that. So we're going to take a look at uh, unboxing this thing and uh, take a look at some of the specs and some of the you know pros, some of the cons about it. And uh, let's go from there. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So there's not much to the box, but you can tell just by looking at it. Um, pretty basic. Windows 8 tablet made by Insignia. This one came with a one-year warranty, which is pretty cool, you know, in case you happen to break your tablet or do something like that. Uh, it's got Windows 8.1. It's got an 8-inch display that's 1280 by 800. It has capacitive touch, which to me, that's important. Um, that way you don't need a stylus. You don't really need to press too hard on the, uh, the screen. Um, got a gig of RAM, 16 gig SD card. Uh, I upgraded to 32. It can take up to 64-bit. It comes with a one-year subscription to Office 365. It's got a... Uh, two megapixel front and rear camera, Wi-Fi built in, and Bluetooth built into it. So the first thing out of the box is the tablet. comes in your foam slip. You have an instruction manual, a help guide, and your micro USB charging. The first thing I noticed once I took it out of the slip was the black matte coloring. I really like that on the, uh, on the back side because there's less fingerprints. Uh, to be picked up than a really high gloss. Uh, there's several different connectors. There's a uh, mini HDMI, a USB port, your micro SD card slot, your power button. Um, on the other side, you have a uh, rotation disablement and your volume rockers. Now, for this being just a $100 tablet, this thing actually reacts pretty well. It's got a capacitive touch versus resistive, which means, yes, it is a little bit more expensive to make, but it reacts a lot better to your finger touch, and you definitely don't need a stylus or anything like that to run it. And you can see as I just you know, barely touch the screen, and this is actually with the screen protector still on, because uh, this is actually going to be a gift for somebody, so I didn't want to remove that piece. But you can see that just going online, um, you know, hitting up the internet, trying to, you know, just navigate around, checking out YouTube, you can see that uh, this tablet actually responds really well. One thing I don't like about this tablet, though, is the speaker. There's one speaker, and it's uh, on the uh, left-hand side in the back. So what that means is that, um, you know, you only got one speaker to hear from, so if it's covered up, you're not going to hear anything. Now, the cameras on board, both front and back, are two megapixel cameras. Um, they both do video, and they both just simply take pictures. So here's an example. It's that easy. Click it, snap, hit video. Uh, I do like the counter down in the bottom left, um, especially the big numbers, whereas um, different things like cell phones or other tablets, the recording numbers are very small and sometimes harder to see. Again, you can see the black matte finish. I'm just doing a quick video of myself so that you guys can see it. Uh, the video quality is in 720p, uh, so it's not 1080. 
It's not, you know, 60i. It's just standard, you know, 720. And uh, here's that quick video of me just uh, spinning it around and looking at myself. So definitely not something to be super impressed with, but a 720p camera, you know, it's better than 480. Um, and it's nice that it comes with the option of a front and back cameras, uh, unlike some tablets where they either have, you know, the front or the back, but not both. Um, the specs of this tablet are, uh, you know, one gig of RAM, and it comes with a, this tablet actually came with a 16 gig SD card, so I upgraded it to a 32 gig SD card. It can upgrade to a 64 gig SD card if you want to. The boot up time on this is phenomenal. From the start of the push button uh, to full boot up and ready to use was, you know, 10 seconds from zero to login, which is amazing. Even my home solid state drive doesn't do that. And then the power off, which you'll see here in just a second, is just as quick. You know, I held the power button, it comes down, swipe it down, within a few seconds it shut off. Now, I do like the feature that they have on here that some tablets don't have, not even all cell phones have it, uh, but it's a great feature, is when you plug it in to charge it, a little light comes on that says, hey, I'm charging, and you can see that it's charging. Right, guys, so that is the Insignia Windows 8, 8 inch Wi-Fi tablet. So some pros and cons, what I do and don't like about this. Some cons, it runs Windows 8. I prefer Windows 7, um, but you know, I'm an Android user and I'm just not, I, I don't think Windows 8 should be on a, on a mobile device. Not yet, but they're getting better. Um, one gig of RAM, they easily could have added another gig or two or four. Um, there's not much onboard space. Uh, the one speaker in the back is not great quality at all as far as sound goes. Um, and it seems like they almost have interchangeable parts. There's a spot on the back of the tablet, um, that it almost looks like a uh, part that can be replaced, you know, maybe for another tablet. Maybe it's the same body um, as an HP tablet or as an Asus tablet or, you know, some other tablet like that. So that's why I really don't like that. Some pros. Um, some pros. It's a small tablet. You know, I carry a 10.1 tablet every day with me. And uh, it weighs a pound by itself. With my OtterBox, it weighs two pounds. So it gets a little bit heavy. The 8-inch tablet, it fits in one hand, doesn't take both hands to really uh, do anything with it, unless, of course, you're you know watching a movie or typing, something like that. Uh, you can expand it up to 64 gigs, which is great um, that, you know, Windows offers that. Uh, a lot, they could have gone even cheaper for 100 bucks. They could have said, you know, here's a tablet with, you know, 16 gigs of onboard space. Windows is going to take half of it, and you're out of luck. Um, there's no learning curve, really, for today's users. Uh, Windows 8 is Windows 8. You know, Windows 8 on a PC is Windows 8 on a tablet, which is great. Um, it can run full HD videos, which is great also. So you don't have to worry about, you know, losing the quality of your, your MP4, your AVI files. Um, if you want to hook it up to an external monitor, you can do that too. Uh, you can do it through the uh, micro HDMI cable, or it also has a wireless monitor option. So I'm guessing you could probably stream it to your smart TV I didn't try that. Uh, the battery life seems to be pretty good on it. I let it run, you know, all day, and it didn't, uh, you know, the battery life didn't die. It's got a 10-point touchscreen, which means you can have up to 10 points of active touching on it in case you want to drag and drop or pinch and move and grow or right-click, that kind of thing. Um, it can hook up to uh, external USB drive. So if you carry a USB drive like I do, everywhere um, and you need to get data off of it all you need is a an adapter which is basically a USB to micro USB adapter and plug it in and boom now you even have more space so I carry a 64 gig USB drive with me everywhere um, it's easily now plug it in and now I have a 90 gig drive you know um, and the the one thing that I really do like about this is the pricing it's a hundred bucks I mean you're not gonna find an iPad for that. Um, even a brand new, well, not a brand new one, even an old iPad, an old iPad 2 sells for over 200 bucks. You know, um, a really nice Android tablet is three, four, five hundred dollars $500. The iPad, the new iPad, you know, five, six hundred dollars $600. Um, same thing for cell phones. So if you're looking for something that does basic stuff, is a great starter tablet, mid-grade quality, in my opinion, um, can do Word 
uh, PowerPoint, Excel, those things becomes because it comes with Office 365. This is a great buy for you. If you don't like any of that, well, it's too bad. That's my review. I think it's a pretty great tablet for the price and the quality seems pretty good. I know that the receiver is going to enjoy it. So that's my take on it. Uh, I hope you guys, you know, like the video, comment on the video, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, most of all, subscribe down below and share also. That way we can get the word out and I can get this channel kicked off and kind of see where it goes. All right, guys, I hope you have a great night and I will see you soon.